Evening guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTubes. Thanks for coming back and checking out another one. Basically, in tonight's YouTube, I want to be talking about like my favourite look, my favourite outfit, my favourite like piece to go to, obviously, in my wardrobe all the time. And that's um, obviously the classic black leather biker jacket. So, like, every time I always, like, take photos, mention leather jackets, like, wear leather jackets, everyone, obviously, loves the look. It just sums up the whole biker style. Obviously, the rings, the necklaces, the, the just the little, like, details, the little bandanas, the black skinny jeans, the white shirt, blah, blah, blah. That whole look, that is my favourite look of all time. That, what's, that sort of, like, sums me up. That's my signature look. If anything, like, if I was ever to go anywhere, like, super cool, I'd always probably wear a biker jacket. Um, so tonight's YouTube is about the biker jacket, just everything about it, how to dress it up, how to style biker jackets, what my favourite biker jacket is, where I got it from, all those questions will be answered. But uh, yeah, basically, I know everyone really, really likes the style, like that's the, it's the ultimate rock and roll piece, I always, always say. Um, I just got distracted there for two minutes. Uh, so there will be a little bit of a catch up as well. So I want to talk about the biker jacket after I've uh, had a little bit of catch up with you guys. Obviously I missed last week. Um, last week it actually ties in the whole biker jacket thing because I went down to London and it was it went down for like, it was like a half party, half shoot. Um, I got invited down by Monia, who I will talk about his leather jackets, um, obviously in this YouTube video as well, but his leather jackets, if if there's like no budget uh, set, his are the best leather jackets of all time. He, it's the ultimate biker jacket I have ever tried on, ever had the pleasure to wear, and I will show you all later on. I have talked about his biker jacket, I've actually had it in my hands, I've talked about it on YouTube before, um, but if you missed that, and if you just want the big sort of like, a big YouTube all about biker jackets, this is the one to watch. So basically, I went down London, we went to this crazy party, it was absolutely sick, um, Monia's mate Eddie um, put his little summertime party on down London. It was legendary. It was like, it was like probably the coolest party or one of the coolest parties I have ever been to. So it was in London. It was in this really really cool fancy hotel, and he had the penthouse apartment. And it was basically there was a bar get set up. There was like the music on. There was like different levels of the hotel we were going around to. Pretty much one time, like there was this guy basically who who literally would serve me any sort of alcohol or literally like it was like what do you want? Uh, and he was there, being an absolute legend all night. Um, and he just his sole purpose was to literally try and get me any alcohol or get me anything I wanted which was absolutely insane really really good time this party went on to like three half three and then we decided to shoot afterwards obviously I was pretty smashed but we did get some killer photos now we'll share them with you soon I think that's coming on Instagram obviously money is going to show you all the pictures first um, but there's some sick ones there the whole set the whole like leather jacket, leather trousers combination was amazing. So that's why obviously I couldn't really squeeze in a YouTube last weekend because I was basically partying in London. So it's uh, it was actually quite a cool, cool little weekend last weekend. At Sunday I spent getting like little bits and pieces at a uh, sort of car boot sale, second hand market, whatever you want to call it. There's some little bits in the background you might be able to see. Got some really, really cool pieces actually. Got like a really cool like uh, crucifix but Jesus has only got one arm so I've got a one arm Jesus over there but I think he, he looks pretty sweet he looks pretty sweet but uh, yeah so I had a really really good weekend last weekend it was absolutely sick and it involved biker jackets and leather jackets so obviously my favorite one is from the Coopers, which I will show you later on that's the one I always wear across on my Instagram that's the one I always get featured everyone goes Every time I put one up there, it's like, where is your leather jacket from? Where is your hat from? Where are your rings from? So I may as well just talk about this on YouTube, and I'll be like, you know what, if you want to go and check my YouTube out, all questions will be answered. There we go, we got it. So basically, this is my personal leather jacket. This is the one I've had for about two, two and a half years now, and it is, um, I always describe it as, like, the ultimate leather jacket. Like. Those leather jackets, I've got a lot, I've got a lot of biker jackets, loads of different styles, suede ones, black ones, brown ones, like ones with zips, one with no zips, one with like ball bearing zips, literally every sort of different biker jacket you imagine I've probably got, but you cannot beat the classic, timeless black leather jacket. Um, 
Obviously All Saints do them, I want to show you a few from All Saints. This one is from the Coopers, I want to show you one which is currently on the Coopers website later on in this YouTube video. Um, but I always think like this was quite a big price for me to pay out originally when like obviously two years ago when I got it. Um, it was like a £750 biker jacket but I got it in the sale and I think I spent about 550 that was in the sale, that was on Coopers. But it's one of those pieces where I think this is what I always tell everyone. If you want a biker jacket that will last you like pretty much, I think this is going to be the lifetime biker jacket. It's getting better with age, it looks more sort of cool, more I wear it. It's never going to lose its timeless quality. So like no matter what biker jacket, no matter what sort of um, so where you go or what event you go to, this biker jacket is just the ultimate call for piece. There's nothing cooler, literally nothing, nothing cooler than a black biker jacket with a silver zip, with an awesome opening collar line, and I just think I found the perfect one. Obviously, this has got the big um, silver buckles on the side. These are like the big sort of like fastenings. What they used to have on the classic bike jackets. Obviously, if you actually had a bike, this is more of a fashion piece. Um, but it's still a very, very thick, very weighty jacket. That's why I absolutely love it. So I always say, like, if you want a biker jacket, yeah, I've had my All Saints ones. I remember when I, one of my first biker jackets was the Cargo Biker, and that's like the olive -y sort of grey green one. All Saints used to do that was like their best seller back in the day. And they've always changed that, and they've always like stayed true to their design. And obviously, All Saints, I want to say, is a good place to start with a biker jacket. Um, but personally, sometimes, I mean, I've I describe that week whether the, I describe that wick biker jacket well I'm just gonna check the windows. I hate sitting there on YouTube because literally it's just full of windows and I'm like it's gonna be so awkward if someone's just staring at me through the window when I'm doing this but I'm just gonna just gonna carry on I don't think don't think I've got any prying eyes. Um, but yeah also this is a really good like start to a biker jacket. Obviously they look really good, they're very very cool, the quality's good, the zip's good, they look amazing when they're on. But my point of like the all sense jacket is since it's a high street shop, since it's like a very accessible shop, you see those jackets everywhere. And it's like when you've got the wick biker jacket on, you've got the cargo biker jacket on, you will see people that day with the same biker jacket on. Some people might not get fussed by that, but personally I do. And I just, I always like looking different. I always like looking like my own style. I don't like, I know this is the same, but you see less people wearing this jacket than you do the All Sense ones. I'm not saying All Sense ones are bad, I'm just saying they're still really cool, they're really, really stylish. They're just more of a mass market leather jacket. Um, but I still love them, I've still got a lot of them in my wardrobe. They are very, very cool. But if you do want something different, I always say like pay that a little bit more. So it will be an expensive leather jacket you buy. But that, say if you wear it every day, if you wear it all the time, if that's your signature piece, the amount of times you wear it will probably pay for itself in the long run. All Saints jackets, they've lasted me like five, six years max. And then I've either got bored of them or it's just been like, there's been so many out there, you just see them all the time, night out, all this. So for a short range, like probably four to five years, I say, yeah, get yourself an All Saints jacket. It's a perfect place to start. Um, but then after that, obviously I got this one. And this one, just like that little bit more to that, that extra like, I don't know, 20, 30% on a leather jacket. It's just the, I always say like, it's just the, the coolest, timeless piece. This is the darkest leather, the thickest leather. It's, it's a little bit heavier. It's the attention to details better. So if you have got the money, or if I personally, this is what I did, I saved for this jacket. So instead of buying that extra All Sense jacket, I saved my money and then I, it's basically two All Sense jackets, so we'll buy this jacket. This jacket was in the sale, you know what I mean? So it's always a good, time to buy leather jackets when they do go on sale because there's a nice one on the coupons at the minute, it's 750 pounds, but it will go down to like five, maybe 450, uh, definitely in the sale. So if you do want to hang on, always get it in the sale. Also eBay is such an amazing um, sort of like marketplace for leather jackets. I got one of my coolest leather jackets of all time, that's from the coupons. Uh, this leather jacket was made years and years ago and the price was just so high for me at the time. And I remember I looked for this leather jacket like every month, every week on eBay and then it was like, then I forgot about it. Then I always kept on going back and back and back and typing in the same um, 
description of this jacket. And eventually, after I think it was like two years, I actually found the jacket I was wanting to get from the Coupals, and it was it's such a good price. This jacket was like an insane price tag, and I think I got it for like must have been. It was like five or six hundred pounds less than what the couples were selling. That was on eBay. So if you are a savvy buyer and if you keep on typing those like little keywords on eBay, you will find the jacket of your dreams. There's a lot of couples ones across there. There's a lot of all sense ones across there. Um, but always, obviously, check the seller, see if they've got a good rate, and see if they're like a, a good seller on eBay. You don't want to sort of pay all that money, and then obviously the thing not to come or the thing to look different. You've got to check it out. You've got to suss eBay out. But I'll say that is such a good marketplace for finding like leather jackets like this. Uh, I did get this one online, so this one came straight from the Coupe itself in Paris. Um, but yeah, like the ultimate biker style, I say, obviously you've got this um, neckline. Epaulettes, there's a one on the Coupe at the minute, I think that's got epaulettes. And it has, it's got the belt um, sort of like ties, but it's not got the actual belt thread through the ties. Um, but it's still quite a nice one, which I will show you soon. This one, obviously, as I described before, it's got the chunky, big clasps on the side. It's also got a lovely little zip that doesn't just go just on the front of the jacket. It actually goes around the side of the jacket, so it goes around the side. Little details like that are amazing. It's got the little um, detailed biker pocket, which obviously came from the 70s jackets, the actual motorcycle jackets. People worn, so if they fall off the bike. Um, all these little things like had little details where they've took from the old school jackets and put of these fashion jackets. So yeah, when you fell off your bike in the 70s, your leather jacket would probably keep you safe and you'd skid on a leather jacket. Maybe if you wore one of these, it would be a different story. This one is obviously thick, but still it's not as thick as some of the 70s ones. I've tried those on and my dad's got a few like old school actual biker jackets and they're so thick, they're so heavy. And obviously they were built for a purpose. Um, I love the silver detailing on this. So I love the big... Um, sort of press studs. These have actually got press studs on there as well. Some jackets um, actually don't come with the little press stud underneath. Sometimes they're just like open and folded. I'd probably stay away from those because you do get like the flappy effect going on obviously with the nice collar line. It's nice to pin those back and like keep them in the place. Uh, so this has got the pins everywhere. It's got the nice little little detail pockets, side pockets as well. And I just think the silver and the black go absolutely perfectly. It's got a nice uh, little vented back and it's just quite a short crop jacket. But um, yeah, Couples did an amazing one. This is from the, probably about three, four seasons ago um, and it was an absolute killer, killer jacket. And it still is a killer, killer jacket. It's my jacket I wear all the time. It is the signature piece. Um, but yes, I will talk about, give me two seconds, there we go, some jackets I have found online. So I've got my computer down here and I want to show you a couple of jackets I found online which is similar to that and obviously which you want to check out the quite cool jackets which are on the market at the minute so we'll start off with the Coupos one so basically this Coupos one is a little similar to mine obviously it's not got any of the buckles but it's got the same epaulettes at the top it's got the zips it's got the nice little detail that I was talking about before where the belt isn't actually on the jacket but the belt studs are there the collar line is absolutely amazing, it's got the silver studs, it's got the zips, the quality of the Coupal stuff obviously with the little um, Coupal's uh, logos in the buttons and the zips are really really nice. They've got a small, they've not got extra small but it's one of those things where it probably will come back and it's just such a sick jacket. The leather's always amazing when obviously you shop in the Coupal's, you always source it from the best places. I'm trying to think where this one's from, it'll probably tell you in the description but I recorded that description and I can't go back and have a look, but um, obviously the Cool Balls, it's such a nice brand. The attention to detail is amazing, the leather is amazing, the dye, obviously you get like that jet black biker. There's no point in having that grey, sort of like light ba uh, biker. You want a, like a dark black, sexy black biker. That's that's the perfect, perfect one to have. Um, so that's on the Cool Balls, that's 495 Obviously that is full price. This one I can probably see going down about 300 around that ballpark, obviously in the sale. So, I mean, if you do stick it out and hopefully your size will still be there a couple of months down the line, or even like promotions, um, obviously coming up, um, Christmas time, Black Friday, that sort of thing. They always run a really, really good 
uh, discount, uh, so you could obviously just wait for it. But that jacket is really, really nice, and I noticed that jacket, and I really wanted to put it in this YouTube video. We've got another one here, which I noticed, and this is all sense. So again, you've got the black biker style, but you have got the belt this time. That belt, actually, on my uh, wick biker jacket is pretty annoying, because every time you walk, it actually knocks on your side. Um, but yeah, the belt, it looks cool. I mean, it looks really, really good. It's got the same nice opening there. It's got the metal press studs down there, and those obviously stick on the jacket. The zips are nice. The detailing's nice. That's 348. So basically, you're saving like 100, 130, 40 quid um, buying an All Saints one rather than the Coopers one. Um, so, I mean, obviously, there is quite a price difference, but I mean, still 348, it's a lot of money for a jacket, you know what I mean? But it's one of those things that if you do save up and it's more of a piece that will last you years and years and years. Like I say, All Saints jacket, like the good for five, five or six years, then either you get bored of them. Personally, I just get bored of them. Um, so that's why it's not like they lose the quality, you know, it's not like they fall apart. They're really, really well made jackets, but it's just like, mm, it's like, I want more. I want more than just a, that biker jacket. But this is it, like, the more you wear it, the more down the line you wear it, the new ones come out all the time. You get, you get people wearing the new ones rather than the old ones, and then it sort of fits in. Obviously, you wear it, you get a little bit of wear in it, it looks cool with age. It's one of those things, it swings and roundabouts, you know, obviously when you choose a one from All Saints, you choose one from the Coopers, you choose one from a different brand. But yeah, I mean, All Saints are really, really cool. They, obviously, you know, you know what you're getting with All Saints. It's pretty good, but the only thing is, they're just a little bit sort of common on the market, common on a night out. You wear them, you will see someone else probably wearing a biker jacket. Um, obviously, if money was no option, this is what I was talking about. Monia's jacket. So Monia's jacket is this one here. So this is like the biker jacket. So it's 2,500 euros, yes. It is a lot of money, but you do get what you pay for. And as a person who's worn this jacket a few times, I can tell you Monia's jacket is the best biker jacket I have ever worn. It's got the best fit. It's the buckles on the sleeves are just amazing. The belt, the weight, the quality, the zips, the little detailing of obviously the logo inside the buttons. The whole thing of like when you put this jacket on, you will exactly know what I'm talking about. It's it's one of those jackets where you put it on and then you're like, this is it's not like um the biker jacket's not wearing me, I am wearing the biker jacket and it is the best film in the world. Um so yeah, money is leather is amazing, it's all made in Paris, it's epic. Um hopefully you'll see some shots of me on my Instagram at the unidentified rocker wearing this jacket pretty soon um, and there's a little sort of little mini campaign little film coming out um, as well and if you didn't check my film out I've got a film of wearing this in the Mojave Desert as well and it's just one of those biker jackets where all I can say is it's the best biker jacket I've ever worn it is sick it is amazing and Monia is a legend. Monia, if you're watching this, you're a legend. Nice one. So basically, yeah, I've walked you through a couple of biker jackets. I've walked you through my biker jacket. I also need to walk you through a couple of, obviously, um, the whole thing of wearing the biker jacket is, it's not just the biker jacket, you've got to dress it up as well. So I've got a couple of photos I want to add into this YouTube as well of like how to wear the biker jacket. Um, I mean, I can put it on now, but I also want to show you a couple of these photos. So I will give it a little try on, and I'll tell you obviously the fit and stuff and all that, because that's always a key part of any biker jacket. You don't want any biker jacket like too big for you. You want it like the ultimate fit. So my biker jacket is small, and as you can see, like on the arms, it fits like a dream. The shoulders, it fits like a dream there. So the the seams are exactly where they need to be. But as you can see, like this biker jacket, just the dark, the quality, even the smell, it still smells that rich smell of leather, like the first day I bought it. Um, the little zips and the sleeves are really cool, obviously they've got the leather behind. Um, but yeah, how to dress the biker jacket up is the next key point. So obviously I've got my blog, my blog tonight on my website, theunidentifiedrocket.co.uk. Um, I've dressed it up and I want to show you a couple of photos of like what I think the detail like is nice to have which complements the biker jacket. So this photo here obviously I've got my hat on which I have on now. I've got all my, my silver jewellery is a key point of any outfit so it doesn't matter what outfit I wear, biker jacket or not, 
jewellery is a massive part of my outfit because I always think it just adds that little detail, it adds that token point. Jewellery is such a personal thing as well, it always has to tell a story and I remember you from a place or a person, it's got a history, it's got a story, like the best bits of jewellery always have a story behind. Uh, so when someone do, does go like calls you out on the jewellery and go oh like I love your jewellery where's it from you've always got that little sort of like little story little sort of um, I don't know little what's the word just little like background thing of oh yeah I got it here oh yeah I was on this crazy night out and like I came across this I don't know obviously on crazy nights out you come across brands but yeah, it's one of those things, you know, like uh, where I got it from, I was visiting New York, I got it here, or I got that for a special occasion. It's really, really nice to have little little mementos like that on your fingers, on your neck, on your, you know, wrists. It's cool. So, um, yeah, jewellery obviously plays a big part in it. I love the Western style belts. I've got a couple of really, really nice belts. That one, which I'm wearing here, is again from the Couples. A black t-shirt, like normally I don't really wear that many high necks, I just normally sort of sport what I have on here. So you know, like a very, very low unbuttoned shirt. Um, but this one, since I wanted to reflect uh, the actual little accessories and like sort of like show them a little bit more, I went for a black high neck t-shirt. So you can see all my necklaces there, all my necklaces are from different places, different people, different, I don't know, places around the world, you know, like everything like that, all will tell a little story. So I've got a few of my favourite um, necklaces on there, again with my little bracelets as well. So I always go for a theme, as you can see my theme is silver, 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 silver. The first time I started to wear jewellery, obviously when I was young, the you go through that thing of like, oh I'll just wear jewellery and I'll just like just buy stuff from anywhere. That's not really the point, like you, you can go into like, I don't know, the high street shops and get jewellery from the jewellery section but it'll never last, it's no good, it'll leave you with green fingers, it's horrible. Um, I always go for silver, so silver is my sort of colour and there's quite a lot of my rings which are obviously silver metal um, but I just think that colour is the best. Don't mix colours, either go for like one colour and stick to it, I wouldn't sort of like bring two colours or like different colour stones or whatever into the jewellery. I'd always go for one simple colour and stick to it with everything because it just looks the best. Um, here's another closer shot of my jewellery. So obviously the skull rings, the Ace of Spades skull ring and another skull little hand all tell a story. My favourite brands are Tante of uh, Paris. Uh, Quentin is a jewellery maker in Paris and he does some absolutely killer styles. Like the best jewellery, the, the best quality, he makes them in Paris. Um, he's a legend. Um, you can see a few of Quentin's pieces, like the hand um, necklace I've got on with the big pillar, and I've got a couple of his rings as well. Um, but I did like the Great Frog, obviously the Great Frog, I went to London, I visited the shop last weekend. Um, it's nice, it's really, really cool, but again, it's one of those ones where everyone knows about it, and you will see the same ring maybe on the same night out someone has a ring, more likely they're going to have it from the Great Frog. Not saying there's anything bad about that. Um, I have got Great Frog pieces. This little red heart is Great Frog as well. And this silver double-headed skull is from the Great Frog. Really, really cool. I love them. Love them to bits. And they're sick. But since I've now discovered Quentin's brand and checked out his shop, uh, been on a few nights out with them, like, it's the best. It's got the story. It's got some, like, cool, it's got some Parisian style. I, I obviously recommend Quentin's, so I'll obviously leave all these little recommendations down below. Uh, really, really cool jewelry brand based in Paris. What else? So yeah, bandanas. This is another one. I tied a little bandana to the um, my jeans, like obviously one of the loops in my jean holes, and I just think that adds again to that sort of biker rock and roll style. I picked that biker jack, uh, sorry, the bandana up from biker jack, biker jack, biker jack. I picked that bandana up from the Coopers as well. Again, it was in the sale, so I got a good price on it. I think originally it was like 60, 70 quid. I think I got it for like 21 pounds, uh, which was a really, really good buy. So they do have amazing sales, like I said, and you do pick up some bargains, which Again, we'll go with the whole outfit, the whole ensemble. Tie this uh, outfit again, obviously with black jeans. Black jeans are my go-to, my favourite, my like sort of signature piece again. This blog and this sort of look, I just wanted to do because this is my favourite. This is my favourite style. This is what sums me up. Obviously the hat, the biker jacket, all my bits and pieces, jewellery, necklaces, bracelets, jeans, 
that sort of thing, that, this is my favourite outfit, this is my favourite look. Um, and this is the style, this is the, yeah, the style I absolutely love. So as you can see, it all ties together, all looks really, really cool. Everything's nice and fitted. It's not too tight, it's just nice and tailored. And uh, it all goes together. So yeah, I, basically that's why I thought I'd just, I'll hop on YouTube, I'll talk about the outfit, the look, the style, the hat, the rings. So you all get a good idea of obviously where it's all from, how it's all put together, and yeah, how it all looks, how it all ties in, what the stories are about it and stuff like that. So hopefully you've all got a few pointers, you've all got a few tips. You can go across and have a look at those websites, the jackets, <coughs> Quentin's ring brand, Monia's jacket, all the little things will be in the links below. If you want to have a look at the photographs and the little bit of writing I will do, you can check out my blog, which also will be in the link below. You can check that out. It'd be really, really cool. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, this is this is the probably the most I had to crop that bit out there because I actually said my actual name. But this is the most unidentified rock and look you will probably get and the explanation sort of uh, behind little pieces, how I put your outfit together, all that. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Yeah, if you're not subscribed, give me a big subscribe. I want to hit a thousand soon. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be good. Um, thanks for watching another one of my YouTube videos and I will see you hopefully next week for another one. Cheers guys and I'll see you in a bit.